get it going. Good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Welcome to Cooper Company Live on a Thursday morning edition of the world's most famous program right here on Highway 72 in Athens, Alabama. Thank y'all for getting up with us. It ain't raining at the very moment, but it's about to. Join me this morning, these three people right here. Teresa, it's good to see you up early this morning. Oh, it's great to be here. Your husband told me you can get up early. You just oh. refuse to come up here. Ignore no. Oh, I can't believe he said nah, that. I hear you say I just make <laughs> Joe, this is a good thing he didn't have a car this morning because he's going to start storming again in just a little bit. Yes, yes. It would have been soggy, but... A little soggy, but we don't have to go out there with that outdoor camera That's now. right. That's so, right. Anyway, Tom? You could have used the BMW again. Yeah, we could have yeah. put the top down. All right, here's what's coming up. Tim Anderson going to join us in just a little bit. Coming up in about a week, it'll be one year ago that the tornado devastated western Limestone County. Clements Baptist Church played a big part in that. Not happening, but helping all everybody get together. <laughs> As did Lindsey Lane did four years ago when it, the big one happened here. And Dusty be back with us on tomorrow talking about all the great things going on at Lindsey Lane. But Tim should be here in just a little bit. And I think Lynn Hart's going to join us Lynn a little Hart bit too. they got here. something big coming up here next weekend, I do believe. Yes. She'll talk all about that. we got a lot of things. Zach's in here all fired up. Are you going to A-Day or not? They say it's close to 100% chance of rain, so I believe I'll be watching. Ain't going nobody going to be there. I, I, I'm afraid to get wet, Tom. Fair weather, <laughs> friend. We'll talk about a lot of things right now. Here's Gloria with today's weather forecast. Good morning, everyone. It's 62 degrees. We have thunderstorms taking place right now. Things hopefully should taper off around 8 o'clock. That drops down to about 18% chance of that rain. So things will be clearing out today. Today it's not all lost. You will see some clearer skies. Only 20 for high temperatures today of 73 with your low temperatures of 59. Tomorrow, good news. Only 20% chance of those showers. So that's finally no rain to have to worry about. Enjoy today. Be nice to Jamie. I've got to get out of here. Have an awesome day. All right. So, Sharon, sure, there's a weather forecast. A little bit wet when you came in this morning, Teresa, but not enough to mess your hair up. Oh, this morning, thank you. So <laughs> I'll probably spend more time than anybody getting adjusted to, you know, some weather like this. I know you've got your Sergeant, uh, pa, uh, Sergeant uh, Carter. Sergeant Carter. Going on this I started to get a haircut, but I didn't, didn't get by there yesterday. Yeah. Uh, you know, that style went out about to, what, 50s? <laughs> yeah, I like it, though, you know. Looks good. We've got a lot of folks to talk about. Come down Lee. Lindsey Lane this weekend, too, the Eli Williams deal over there. Yes, sir. Bring your umbrellas and ponchos, but uh, we will have that show rain or shine. Right. We had no choice on that one, really. Teresa, the other day, people were rather <coughs> shocked. I, well, you'll play with us today. Play Judge Jamie and Justin. Oh, when I did the tourism yes. thing, $120 million. Everybody said, wow, I couldn't believe it's that much. Did you look at Baldwin County? What did they do, $3 billion? Uh, well, you know, that is the beach. <laughs> yeah. well, we got the river when you put more sand over there on it. You kind of uh, go from there. So, uh, no, there he's coming in here now. We'll move him up here in just a second right now. Let's get over to Zach with something. Zach, what's happening in this sport? Hey, uh, congratulations to Lindsey. Lane, they are officially members of the Alabama High School Athletic Association. I know they've been trying to, uh, they had to add teams, had to have enough teams before they could actually be in it, so they plan to field teams for football, volleyball, boys, and girls basketball, baseball, softball, softball, soccer. There's too many of them to announce. They're, they're, they're going to have a bunch of teams. Don't that's, leave out the tennis. That's and, yeah, awesome. tennis. Yeah, they're going to have a bunch of teams. We're uh, getting a substitute for Gloria to come in this morning. Yeah, uh, Athens so uh, playoff games have been moved to today to play, and I don't think they're going to play them today. <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to be rain all day today and tomorrow. So they're supposed to play yesterday, and they're going to play today against Cullman. And other games, Madison County, Madison County Ardmore, East Limestone, Randolph, and Athens Bible School and Hackleburg are scheduled to play tomorrow. But as, as it looks right now, I don't think that's going to happen. Hey, as you know, Aaron Hernandez was sentenced life in prison without parole. Showed no remorse. Every of it. We showed no. He showed no remorse. Everybody I talked to just like it was like, oh well, mm -hmm. you know. Twenty-five years old had to play with Tom Brady. Had a great career going on, but all he was thinking about was somebody did him wrong I mean, and time killing Urban guy. Meyer get him out of trouble without Florida. I know it. Like I said, Urban Meyer. I mean, he. I know Brad. I hate to bring this up, but Cam Newton was a, was one of uh -oh. Urban Meyer's guys too. He's, He's had a lot personal. of guys. But hey, but, <laughs> but, but let, let me go. Let me go. Nick Saban. Nick Saban's had his guys too. So every coach has had their issues. All right, we tried to get players. the best looking person we could find this morning when they came in. <laughs> Tim Anderson filled in for Gloria this morning. 
<laughs> well, saying, had, she's at the hospital with her mother. She had to leave this morning at 5. So, uh, last uh, minute, well, she had something scheduled, so we had to. We'll see how the ratings go. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I love it. Good to see you this morning. Just in time to play Judge Jamie and Justin Little will play that. Hey, yesterday was a big thing. City got accredited by the Main Street Group. I guess, were you there for that? No, I was uh, at the Tourism Bash in Montgomery. Oh, okay. Yeah. You came all the way into Montgomery just in time to do the program. Exactly. I come all the way back just for this. Yeah, we'll talk about that just a little bit, too, because I am not a... I am, did you go to the <coughs> legislature and all that stuff? Yes, exactly. I got to tell you, since I have been in the political just a little, I ain't a big fan of... Uh, politics in Alabama yeah. at all. But anyway, Tim Anderson, good to see you. Nice little color you wore this morning. Yeah, man. We're in the same good category. Good to see you. Yeah. I haven't seen you since the men's group. You put yeah. on such a performance. I yeah. flew for your DVD this morning. I've got you one. I'm trying to find it somewhere. Don't, don't, don't forget about your socks. Yeah. Oh, my. What is this, sockless yeah. Thursday yeah. or something? Did y'all call always, each always other? Got <laughs> got going on too. Did, did y'all call each other? We hey, uh, big news this morning, Decatur Daily's <laughs> talk about Limestone County Commission agreed Zach Wednesday to reconsider its rule against allowing the sale of uh, flea market items at the Limestone County flea market. Hmm. I think it should be. I mean, they got empty booths. They got people willing to pay, pay and use those empty spots, so why not let them use it? That's Marisha my... Black, Executive Director of Spirit of Athens, led an email campaign before the previous meeting against the ban, lifting the ban. She says allowing the sale of flea market items at the farmer's market creates a bad perception. It gives to quote Tricia, it gives to processions we are a second hand community. That does not Residents do that. that went uh -huh. <laughs> Residents that went once no. during that period did not come back. They, there, there's my mom. They, they've had people say some of the farmers have said that helps their business by having other people, different things oh, having it there. They, they have things there. They have like bands and all kind of stuff going on. They don't just have. That just stuff. because your family tries to take it ain't just my family. Sell all their products. There's other people that use that. Have as a kid. Huh? There's other people that you, not we're just gonna, my family. We're gonna. I'm just saying. I, no, no. I no. <laughs> you up here today. You're. I see nothing wrong with it, Jamie. That's oh, my story. I'm, I, I'm against to. it. You're against what? I, I'm against uh, lifting the ban. I okay. do not want to have yard sale items okay. there. Well, there's uh, nothing wrong. It. Uh, well, you know, if there's you have... Zach and his whole family. That's me. <laughs> yeah. On the right. Oh, and yep. the yard sale. And the yard sale. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'll go out on record as saying I lean a little more towards Zach. I like a flea market. I like a yard sale kind of stuff. And if while I'm there shopping for some kind of good picking item, I see some corn on the cob that I want yeah, or some absolutely. apples, I'm going to get that too. But that's just me. Not having a dog in this fight. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> No <laughs> comment. Uh, I'm just, just a special guest. I'm not <laughs> You're not into politics, are you? Hey, a couple Since things I'm going sitting close right here, yeah. I'm on, and they're on different sides, I'm going to be really careful. A couple things going on this weekend. Third Friday, downtown Decatur is tomorrow night, and singing in the park, and you're going to talk about that in just a little bit, has yes. been moved from downtown. To the actual park. To the park. Singing in the park, not singing it's downtown. Springs Park. Talk about that in just a little bit, too. So, a lot of things coming up. We'll talk about that. Tim's got a special thing coming up on April 26th, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit, too. I just mentioned that earlier. All right, we're going to take a break on this uh, Thursday morning. And I've got to tell you all about something else. The little girl I'm going to make, the one I made fun of yesterday. <laughs> Well, oh, y'all heard about the Slaw Burger Festival going on in Fayetteville, Tennessee? No. It's the first time they've ever had one. Up there it is right there. And I knew some of the people at Main Street up there, so I contacted them. Hey, Jamie, yeah, we'll see. So some old girl sends me a text yesterday. Mr. Jamie, I'd be glad to come down. What kind of radio show you got? <laughs> I said, television, the longest-running morning television show in the history of morning television. Except for Country Boy Eddie. Oh, so we'll talk about it. I did a story with him. And she didn't know that. She's from Tennessee. She's from <laughs> she didn't know you were a living legend. And I said, she was going to come down this morning. I said, ah, I'll cover it for you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, let me take my first break. When we come back today, we'll have some new players today. We play Judge Jamie. Got some kind of exciting questions. Fit right into y'all. Hang on. <laughs>